I am thankful I have been reading the Bible and doing more personal development recently. Since doing this my mindset has began to change. Instead of saying all wealthy people are crooks, I began to ask myself how they acquire their wealth. Having the correct mindset about money being personally developed and knowing what God's plan is can greatly help with the process. I can't image some of the athletes that receive giant contracts at the age of 22. I know personally with my mindset, even a few years ago, I wouldn't be ready to handle that amount of wealth. Most of us have heard the horror stories about someone who doesn't have much money winning the lottery, then end up broke only shortly after. What does the Bible say about this? Dishonest money dwindles away, but whoever gathers money little by little makes it grow. Proverbs 13 verse 11 What I realized after time is there is always going to be those with money and those without it. I honestly do believe if the wealth in the United States was split evenly between everyone, within 10 years most of the wealth would be back in the original hands. The more money one has, the more they can give back. Honor the Lord with your wealth and with the best part of everything you produce. Proverbs 3 verse 9 Not only can we give more money back, but time as well. I feel most of us want to give back and having time and money makes it easier to do so. It takes hard work to get to this point. Lazy hands make for poverty, but diligent hands bring wealth. Proverbs 10 verse 4 Hard work skill and the means by which it is acquired are key in acquiring wealth. God wants us to work hard. He put us all on this earth to contribute in some way. Jesus gives us an interesting parable about money in the book of Matthew. A master had three servants. He gave each one of those servants an amount of money, and then he leaves for a period of time. When he returns, the first two servants invested the money and multiplied it. The last servant had own with interest. So take the talent from him and give it to him who has the ten talents. For to everyone who has will more be given, and he will have an abundance. But from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. And cast the worthless servant into the outer darkness, in that place. Being wealthy in itself is not a sin. For the love of money is a root of all kinds of evil. 1 Timothy 6 verse 10 Putting the love of money before God is, God actually commands us to be fruitful. God blessed them and said to them, Be fruitful and increase in number. Fill the earth and subdue it. 